Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining me once again. Well, still in the park having a wander about. Beautiful day, really is. Well, let's have a look at this whole situation we're in, in this country, shall we? It, re it really, really concerns me what happened over the weekend, obviously with London and the other local elections. If you look at the election map, you know, but what happened with the local elections, the Conservatives were routed. They got an absolute beating and uh, Labour soared. Now, this goes back to the old adage, doesn't it, that we only have a choice of two, Labour or Conservative. That's what they want you to believe. And you look at the media, you look how they behave, and you look at the other parties that come up, some of which have really promising ideas and they say things that really resonate with people yet they don't have much of a choice they don't have much of a chance because of the way the system works not in their favor i mean reform is the one that seems to be making the biggest waves at the moment now unfortunately howard cox is not the mayor of london i mean let's face it no matter what we did to alter that destiny, to change our destiny, it was always going to happen. It was either going to be Labour or Conservative because that's that's how the system works. And because of this, we have a lot of people that are disenfranchised. They know that Conservative are no good. They know that Labour are no good. And they think, well, if that's what we're stuck with, what's the point in coming out and voting because my vote will make no difference whatsoever well I'm afraid there's the issue right there now if you look back at 2010 we ended up with a coalition government didn't we the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats who have done a little bit better in some places this time round there's another worry for you and we were told we were told that this is what the British people wanted. This is what the British people voted for. Well, no, we didn't. We didn't at all because we didn't vote for anything because we're fed up. I, I saw a worrying report as well that even though Labour did so well at the local elections, projections show that we could be in for another hung parliament. So, a hung parliament, they had certain options, including trying to govern without an overall majority. That's a disaster waiting to happen in itself. But they make choices themselves based on what's available and then turn around and say, that's what the British people wanted. So, we have no consent to what they do and what they say in the grand scheme of things. It's all spin. And it's all bullshit. Let me give you another alternative. Because it's obvious that voting for reform, voting for anything else, isn't going to work. Because the system is too keyed in the favour of Conservative and Labour. I do not consent. I am sorely tempted to do that myself at the next general election. There's enough people that have come out who have put something on a ballot paper who could put, I do not consent. There is enough people who sit at home because they're no longer confident that their vote will make a difference. They could come out and say, I do not consent. Not none of the above, not I'm fed up with this, not any variation of, simply, I do not consent. I do not consent to be governed by you any longer. I do not consent to be led by you. I do not consent to the presence of an English Parliament. Well, British Parliament, actually. Pardon my P's and Q's there. And we're done. Then what would happen? Hmm? Millions and millions of people saying, I do not consent. Do you know the powerful message that would send? 
very powerful more powerful than you would think I'm saying this because I know it to be true I've looked the information's there have a look yourself never mind all this sovereign citizen and everything else yes you could be a sovereign citizen but there is a system in place which will fight against that you know you have to work with what you've got and a very strong message needs sending we're not happy any longer we do not consent let me know what you think in the comments as always please hit the like button on the video subscribe to the channel and share me on your socials i look forward to talking to you again soon toodaloo